Hello everybody, it's the 6th of January today and uh, according to the thermometer it's 2 degrees C and as you can see from the surface of the pond we've got rain um, and sleety rain at that so um, my daughter and her husband are coming to visit over the weekend or coming tomorrow in fact uh, toward the weekend so I'm not going to get out a video or that I'd planned but instead I'm just going to give you a very quick introduction uh, to a tree that I've had kicking around for a while that's going to be going into its first bonsai pot in the spring. Cooper the camera shy collie is modelling his winter coat. I always thought that uh, people who put dogs in coats and dress them up were, well, eccentric shall we say but uh, poor old Coop with his arthritis keeping him warm and dry certainly seems to help so yeah I now am a person who dresses up his dog in a winter coat never saw that coming okay so some of you may or may not know if you've seen my videos of my tour of the garden, tour of the benches, you'll know I have a fairly reasonably sized back garden um, but we have what's called in the UK a postage stamp front garden, I think it's about two meters by three and a half which basically we put down to gravel so that we have it as a sort of low maintenance and we basically put a lot of plants and bulbs and things in pots uh, just to decorate as it were. Now one of the things I've had in there for several years now is this copper beech that uh, I've just been keeping trimmed into a kind of ball shape for the um, just for its decorative purposes but also to fatten up the trunk and uh, get some good ramification and I now feel that it's time let me pop in the can for scale it's a uh, time that this tree went into a bonsai pot and I'm actually going to put it into come spring of course into this interesting green pot that I have for Christmas um, there is a video if you haven't seen that with this lovely blue scrolling I think the copper leaves will look really nice against the green and in fact over winter if I leave the lid if I leave if I leave the leaves on um, distracted by raindrops dripping down the back of my neck uh, if I leave the leaves on they look quite good against the pot as well so yeah so there we have a project to look forward to come spring and uh, I have a couple of trees in pots out front fattening up like this one and that's something you could try at home if you wanted to fatten up trees in this reasonably sized pot they fatten up well um, you can keep them trimmed and uh, they're decorative while you're doing it of course now I'll have to find another another plant to go in that pot oh dear I feel a terrible chore of a trip to the garden centre or the nursery um, will have to be made in spring oh dear how sad <laughs> never mind Obviously, whilst trimming it, I've had my idea of which is the front and which is the back, and this is my perceived front. I quite like the movement. Um, I'm probably going to cut back this large branch here um, when I cut back the roots, just to bring it back into line. Um, it has a fairly interesting nabari. Let me show you that. So, in amongst all these uh, dead leaves and roots um weeds are the roots and it has a quite an interesting nabari so um, yeah i think it'll make an interesting tree in that pot and that's something i'll be doing in march april time probably middle of march so there you have it a much shorter video than normal um 
but weather, time and uh, everything else is all competing to say just make a short one this time and we're back hopefully to a, a more normal video on Wednesday so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it do the like, subscribe, comment, YouTube stuff uh, but most of all look after yourselves stay safe